Hi everyone, I'll be installing Endeavor OS on my computer without using a USB drive. I'm currently running Windows and I'll be installing it on my existing drive here in a dual boot setup. According to the documentation, you'll need at least 15 gigabytes of free space. So I have here 405 gigabytes free, which is more than enough. So to get started, go to EndeavorOS.com and scroll down and look for your country and for me, USA, and download. Once it's done downloading, go into your downloads folder, select the image, hit enter or right click and mount. Open, and this will mount the ISO image. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna properties, and I see here it's about 2.6 gigabytes. Hit cancel. Now go back into disk management. And we see the image here as the G drive. And what I'm going to do is now shrink my C drive here to make room for the installation media and also as well as for Endeavor OS itself. So I'm going to right click, shrink volume. So I'm going to do 53 gigabytes. So three gigabytes for the installation media and 50 gigabytes for Endeavor OS itself. So 53,000, shrink. All right. It's done and we see the unallocated space. I'm going to right click on it, new simple volume, next, 3000 megabytes, next, and then next. And then I'm going to format it and it's going to be as FAT32. I'm going to label it as EOS underscore ISO, next, finish. All right, the partition has been created. Now I'm going to go back into Explorer and then the G drive, I'm going to copy everything. Go to my new F drive and paste. All right, the files are copied. Now your computer should be able to boot off of this new partition, but if not, it may be because it needs to be seen as an EFI system partition. So we can change that by going into disk part as administrator, start and then disk part, run as administrator. Yes, and then list my disk. Select disk zero, list my partitions, and then it's the 3000 megabyte partition. Select partition five, type in help set ID, type in set ID equals, I'm going to scroll up, and then look for the EFI system partition value in hex, copy, and then paste. Enter. And going back, we see it's been set as an EFI system partition, so that's good. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. In my BIOS here, I have Secure Boot disabled. And if you have Fast Boot, disable it as well. And in my BIOS here, I'm going to do a one time boot into the installation media. And it's labeled as UFI OS. And how I know that is if you go back into Windows, open up a command prompt as administrator, type in bcd edit forward slash enum and then firmware. Enter, and then I can see here at the bottom, it's the F drive where I copied the files and the description UFI OS. So I'm gonna boot into it, and the menu pops up here, and there's an option to go into Endeavor OS, UFI default, and this is for NVIDIA, for the latest NVIDIA cards only, and this is the fallback option. This so will go into the EFI shell, and this would reboot into the firmware interface. So I'm going to be selecting the first option. Now while it's starting up, you can see that it failed as it's trying to mount the installation media, but it's not able to find it correctly. So to fix it, I'm going to create a symbolic link, which is similar to a Windows shortcut. So first type in block ID, and this will list all of your disks and partitions and look for the partition with the label EOS underscore ISO. And seen here, it's dev SDA4. So that is the partition that I'll be creating the symbolic link for. Let's type in ln dash S and then dev SDA4. And then it'll be to dev disk by label and then EOS 2024.09. And then type exit. And if you only have a wireless connection, you'll see this screen here about no internet connection found. So to fix it, go into Network Manager, 
and you should see the Wi-Fi networking section come up under system settings. And I have a wired connection here and also as well as my loopback. And there's no Wi-Fi, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to hit the plus to add a new connection. And this will be for Wi-Fi, create. And I'll just leave the name. And I'm going to fill in my SSID. And the mode, there's three, infrastructure, ad hoc, and access point. Now, if you're not sure which one to use, keep it as a default and set it up as infrastructure. And BSSID, fill it in. If you're not sure of what it is, just keep it empty. And under visibility, check off if it's a hidden network. Next, I'm going to go to Wi-Fi security. And I'm going to pick my security. And so for me, I'm going to be picking WPA3 personal. Be putting in my password. And then save. Connecting and connected. And if it doesn't come up, you may have to right click on it and hit connect. And so I have a wired connection. And so I'm going to bring this up. And it's connected, so that's good. And so for me, since I'm using wired, I'm just going to disconnect from Wi Fi. I'm going to close. And you should see the install window show up. So I'm going to hit start the installer. And then there's two methods online, and there's offline. Online will also as well as ensure that the install system is up to date while offline you'll need to update it afterwards so i'm going to do online and the installer is starting and we got the welcome screen here and then select your language and then next select your location next keyboard next and desktop so select the desktop that you want to use so you can use plasma kde gnome xfce cinnamon and so on i'm going to be selecting plasma next and here are the packages and you can review what you want to install and if you're not sure you can just leave it as the default hit next and the bootloader so i'm going to be dual booting so i can use system d boots or grub in this video i'm going to be using grub hit next and here's the partitioning screen and i'm going to be doing manual partitioning and then hit next and the screen shows all the partitions and the free space on my drive here. And in this video, I'll be keeping it simple. I'll be creating three new partitions, a separate EFI partition for Endeavor OS, swap partition, and slash for everything else. So I'm going to select my free space, double click. And the first partition is going to be for the EFI partition for Endeavor, 512 megabytes. It'll be for FAT32. And then the mount point. Boot EFI, select your boot flag, hit OK. And go back to the free space, double click. And this is going to be for swap. So I have 12 gigabytes of memory. I'm going to be doing 12288. And the file system, Linux swap. And then the flags, swap, OK. And then the last partition is going to be for everything else, ext4. And now you can encrypt it if you want. Just put in a passphrase. For me, I'm not going to do encryption. And then the mount point will be slash. And then OK. And then hit Next. And then fill in your name, username, the computer name, and password you want to use. And at the bottom here, it's asking if you want to use the same password for the admin account. So if you want to use a different password, you can put in the new password. Or you can just have it as a default and use the same password. Then hit next and this is a summary screen an overview of what it's going to do and then once ready hit install it's asking to confirm install now all right this will take a little bit of time depending on how fast is your computer all right the installation is completed and now i'm going to restart my computer and go back into the bios done all right so my bios boot options first i have the windows boot manager Second, I have a UFI OS, which is the installation media. Third, I have Endeavor OS, which would boot up into Grub. And then fourth, which would boot directly into the Endeavor OS itself. So if I want to do a boot, I'll need to have the Endeavor OS option be number one, so I can go into Grub. All right, so it's boot option number one now. And I'm going to save changes and exit. All right, so Grub comes up and we see Endeavor OS. And then the advanced options, UFI firmware settings, and finally the Windows Boot Manager.
So I'm going to go into Endeavor OS. Log in. All right, so Endeavor OS comes up. And here we see the welcome screen. I'm going to close it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot to ensure I can get back into Windows. I'm going to select Windows. I'm going to log in. Open up Disk Management. So there are my three partitions that I had created. So this is slash, this is the swap partition, and this is the separate EFI partition. And here is the installation media. Now it may seem you no longer need the installation media, but if you remove it, you'll likely run into a partition ordering issue. So just keep it. And also as well as if you ever need to get into a live environment, it will always be available. All right, so that's it. That's how you can install Endeavor OS in a dual boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.